So there's a total of six legendary schematics you're able to get for your armor. You got one helmet piece or one helm piece and a total of five different sets of armor pieces. Today, we're going to go over each location. And the most important thing I'm going to tell you guys, if it's worth the grind or if it's not worth the grind. So you're definitely going to want to make sure you're able to find that out because you want to know what to target and what to try to get as quickly as you possibly can. With that being said, guys, let's jump right into it. All right, so the first one we're going to be getting is the cloth schematic, guys. This is going to be located right here, and we have to go ahead and defeat chill it now this is the one i would highly recommend you guys farm as quickly as you possibly can because this one you are able to get at a very 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 uh i would say very low uh you know le low level of the boss you're able to get this is actually the lowest one <laughs> you can find and the great thing about this one is that this one's very very farmable so what you want to do is go this way and you can find chill it and check out this amazing build that i have for tansy I love I love my Tansy build. You guys you guys are gonna be like, damn, bro. All right, hold on, come on, Tansy, do your thing, brother. Let's go. Take him out, Tansy. That boy be getting one shot at, bro. He's, let's see, if we actually got the drop. Come on, Tansy, come with me. Let's see, if we got the drop. Don't run away from that. All right, so we got the precise pellets. All right, we got the leather. Oh, for a second, I thought that was going to be it. We got, uh, no, so we didn't get it. But this is the one you want to farm. So basically, you just want to kill them over and over. Uh, what I would do is go to your settings and change the night and date cycle so you could farm this faster and more efficiently. All right, so now let's go into the second one. All right, so for this next one, guys, we're going to go to the seal realm of the swift and we got to go all the way over here to find the maniston. We're going to hop on here and we're going to head over there ASAP. So let's get on our under her cool looking thing i'm so glad i got this mount fellas it saves so much time and this character is i wouldn't say it's super hard to kill he is a higher level though he is a higher level tier uh than the other one that we just fought which is a, a level 11 but i mean it's still very very manageable so let's work away here so we're gonna want to come oh let me let me go up what you want to come is this gonna be the entrance it's a, like a little cave that you got to go through i'll Pull up the map so you guys can see exactly where it's at. It's just like a little mining cave. It's right here. All right, so this one's going to have the refined metal one uh, for your armor. And like I said, always whenever you're doing this, try to jump and use your glider because that does help a lot. And remember, you got to swim between hot and cold. So make sure we get that out of the way because this is a hot, deserty area. Make sure we get our tansy ready. And now we should be good. Like I said, this boss is not that hard to get. What you want to do is you want to aggro him, depending on who you brought to uh, fight with you. And then you just want your Tansy to go to work here. So he's going to make sure we aggro him on me. And, you know, Tansy should be able to put in the work here. There you go. Down he goes. Let's see if we actually got it. Uh, so you want it, like, the, the, what I notice is whenever there's three backs, that's when you know you got it. So let's see. No. And no. Yeah, so three the three bags is the way to go. That's what you want to see. Three bags. All right, so now we got that one out of the way. Let's go ahead and go to the next one. All right, so for this next one, guys, you're gonna want to fast travel to the Mount of Obsidian, and you're gonna want to make sure you kill this guy right here called the Astagon. Now he's gonna be dropping for you guys the heated rest refined metal armor schematic. And the way you go ahead and kill him, which I want to show you guys, I like to showcase me killing the actual individual. Due to the fact that I feel like, you know, what's the point of me telling you where to get it if I can't show you guys how to kill the guy, right? So let's go this way and go into the cave. So here's the cave real quick. Boop, 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 boop. All right, here we go. Now, I mean, I wish that these caves wouldn't be so deep, my boys. All right, here we go. Let's use our friendly glider, glider here. Dun, 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 dun and yeah we're currently using some legendary weapons so if you want to find out how to get the legendary weapons make sure you guys check out that video i have you guys completely covered with all that stuff call this guy back here get our tansy ready all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay a couple shots on him first and then we're gonna put tansy because i want him to get aggroed on me here all right so now that tansy took the work let's go he needs to lay on some shots. Come on, Tansy. I think Tansy ran out of his uh out of his juice. No. He didn't get any shots off. Alright, hold on. Alright, so let's bring Tansy back. Let's bring him out. 
All right, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. Nice, we froze him. He's frozen to death. He's almost dead here. All right, and we'll take him out. Oh, did my horse get glitched out? Hold on. Take him out, brother. All right, uh, he is almost dead. All right, he's dead. Let's see, we got a drop. Did we get two or three? We got one. We uh, no, I don't think we got it. No, sir. No, so we didn't get it. All right, so we're just gonna check the chest. Sometimes you probably get one here, but I highly doubt it because it's not gold. So we're just gonna give it a try. We got the assault rifle schematic, so that's good. But we didn't get what we wanted. All right. On to the next one. All right, so this next one, guys, we're going to go to the Untwattable Lake right here. And we need to farm Lilin. And, I mean, this is definitely one that's taking a while for me. So hopefully we get lucky this round here um, and get this one out of the way. And I believe this is straight up, straight in. I've done this so many times, like, I forget because these little caves are so hard to find. I'm going to start marking these little caves because they are a bit annoying trying to figure out exactly where they're at. You know what? I'm just going to do this uh, just because... I need to know exactly where this cave is at. So it just makes it easier. All right, here we go. All right, fellas, wish me luck, man. Hopefully this is the run right here. Da, 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 da. I'm going to say this is going to be, ooh, oh, man. Yeah, we've been we've been doing this one for a while. Like, I've been lucky with some, but with this one, it's just. It's... All right, let's see if we get it. Like, I've been up all night on this one, man. Now right, let's drop Tansy. Let's get a couple shots in here. We go. Come on, Tansy, put in the work, buddy. Yeah, if he lands those shots, bro, he is deadly. But I'm telling you right now, she don't even want to play. All right, Tansy, come back, buddy. You, you done your you done your job. Yeah, so we're just trying to kill her right now. All right, come on, let's go. Now I should have brought a fire guy, but uh, we ain't got time for that. There you go. Down he goes. Oh, I think we got it, though. Yeah, so you so if you get three to four bags, that's a good sign. Three to four bags, that's a good sign. Let's see. Here we go. Ah, beautiful flag. Let's go. Yes, sir. We get it. Noise. Noise. Let's go. Another one down. Let's do it. Yeah, boy. All right, so for this next one, guys, you got to go to the deep sands. And the thing I like about this one, this is the one, this is the first outfit that I actually got, uh, the first set that I got. And this is actually really good because you're you're actually get get like a two for one, because the same people, there's two of them, like they're like twins. Both of them have a chance of dropping one, so you're really you get really lucky on this one. Um, as far as this one, this one had a very fast drop rate for me. I, I don't remember. I would have to go back on my video and see because I recorded everything to see um, how many tries it took on this one. They are a little bit harder to fight, but this seems to have a really good drop rate. At least at least for me, it had a really good drop rate. The only thing that I had with these guys is that sometimes it takes forever for them to spawn. So it's like you got to kind of wait, you know, wait it out for them to spawn. So it's like, bro, spawn already, man. We need to, you know, we need to kill you type of thing. Um, and here they are. All right, so we are going to use him. All right, we're just going to throw him out real quick here. And he should be able to do a good amount of damage here for us. Because these guys are dark and neutral as well. So this guy's able to lay some... Uh, some. Uh, oh, I didn't see that. Uh, oh, he's still... God, I thought I had dodged that. Put in the work, brother. Put in the work. Yeah, so the... the I like to kind of just focus on one at the same time. The other one still shoots you, though. So you got to kind of dodge the... Kind of keep an eye on both of them, you know? But... You got to do what you got to do. That beam hurts a lot, too. So this guy's almost down here. My dragon can just keep up the work. And we should be set. We're going to have to switch him over with this one real quick in a little bit. All right, guys, this is going to be for the helmet piece. We're going to have to go to this location, the land of the absolute zero. And we got to make our way all the way to Frustralian here. Let's launch this real quick and head over there real fast. So we should be able to get... To him really quickly with this mount. Da, 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 da. That's what I love this mount, man. All right, let's go. Frost Italian, here we come. We're coming for your cuckus. Oh, I think we went the wrong way here. All right, let's go. It's more this way. And he's going to take a little deep dive. Got to get his stamina back up. 
So we're pretty close. So he's going to be around here somewhere. He is here. And we are going to bring out this guy. Where is he? I don't, I don't see him. Oh, Mr. Frostalian. Where you be at, brother? Oh, there he is. All right, cool. All right, here we go. Let's go throw this dude out here. Get him. All right, let's get it, baby. Come on. Do your thing. Frostalian don't stand a chance. Look at him. Look at him. Look at Frostalian. Frostalian's pretty OP, bro. Not going to lie. Yeah, I hate that little swing thing that he does. Dude. It's so annoying. You know, I didn't even check it. I was low health, too. Come on, boy. Ah, do your thing. My boy. Put in the work. Come on. You know, Tansy's probably going to do a little bit more damage here. Not going to lie. Yeah, this guy's not fully leveled up. This guy that I brought in here with me. So this, this should have gone a little bit faster. If I would have brought him the real one. Let me go ahead and bring him out. Hold on, let me, where's Tansy at? Tansy, I need you, buddy. Take him out, brother. All right, so now let's take a look at the armor and talk about what I personally recommend. So it, me personally, guys, what I would do is I would definitely try to farm the actual outfit itself. I would definitely just do chill it. He's easy to kill very fast. As you guys see, you're pretty much one-shotting him. And the great thing about this is that you'll be able to see like a big financial boost when it comes to uh, damage. So if you notice right here, this is a level 30, uh, 35 uh, common, uh, pretty much heat resistance. It goes to 180 defense with a durability of 1,500. Uh, this is a cold resistance, which is 180. Um, I believe uh, if the um, I believe these scale up just a little bit when it comes to green and blue variant. So it goes up to 200, 220. But I do have an epic here that I wanted to show you guys. This is a 270 uh, armor, cold resistance armor here with a durability of 2700 and health of 750 now this is as high as you could possibly go without a legendary uh so look at the big difference when we go to a legendary so with the legendary we get 400 defense that's that's pretty financial guys that's a very big boost it's not like a little dra drastic like a little mini boost this is actually a big boost it comes with a durability of 11,000. 11,000 and the health of 1,200. So this is definitely something you really want to farm ASAP. And being such a low character like Chillit, I would highly recommend you guys definitely try to farm that legendary piece. Now, in general, I would probably want to farm a cold and a hot one because basically what ends to happen once you're in light game, you always seem to be within the uh, you know cold and hot area. And this is definitely the one that you want to go ahead and obtain so you can last a little bit longer in those, you know, really treacherous places. But still, the one that Chilla drops is actually a really good boost for the early game in such an easy form as far as, you know, how, how low level he is. What I would do is I'm working my way up. I would easily go ahead and start farming him every single day. Uh, every, every time that I possibly can, I'll try to get it, get at least five runs in. Okay, so now on to the helm. So for the helm, guys, it's pretty interesting because the helm you're able to craft at, I believe this is going to be... Uh, this is a little bit further down. It's like at level 30s or something like that. 30s or 40s, if I remember correctly. Uh, let me see. The hell, yeah, so level 37. So it's pretty far deep into it. Uh, and usually, I would you would think, right? This is 150 defense, 30, uh, 350 health, and 5,000 durability. You would think this would be have a big boost, but it doesn't. There's 160 defense, health 400, the durability is 2,800. So you don't really get that much of a big boost with that one. So I wouldn't really focus too much on this one as I would on the actual, you know, armor pieces because they seem to be more predominant and more helpful when it comes to getting the, uh, you know, getting the legendary piece. I don't know if this is bugged or something like that, but this definitely does not look like a legendary armor. Uh, this one... This is a, a common one, and it seems to be just a tad bit better as far as the uh, as opposed to the uh, the defense is concerned. But other than that, you know, you just you look at it's not that much of a difference. So I would just focus on the legendary armor sets. Now I still need to get uh, three more of these. I've only been able to get these, and usually the ones I farmed were the two horses. Those were the ones I farmed just because you get more drop cheat chances there. Uh, so I would definitely recommend you guys definitely do those uh, going out. Now, with that being said, guys, you want to make sure you get these weapons. So if you haven't checked out my legendary drop video, I highly recommend you check those out so you guys know exactly where to get these guns 
and if they're worth you picking up. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.